Salve amici di Avellino TV, siamo qui con Jason Rich, guardia della Siri Cassavellino, con lui parleremo del momento in casa Scandone, un po' della sua carriera, welcome Jason. Uh, partiamo da, un po' dal, da quello che sono stati gli ultimi giorni in casa Scandone, sono a, dopo due mesi, Jason, uh, quali sensazioni hai, che impressioni hai su Avellino? Uh, well, um, first, uh, on the city, I think uh, the fans here are great. They're very supportive. Uh, they are, are like an extra man out there, you know, uh, with their passion. And I think uh, it's really pushing the team um, for us to go out and play very hard to improve uh, because there's no secret that we get off to a late start with some players missing because of national team as well as the coach. So, uh, but like the people here, we don't make excuses. Um, and I think practice by practice uh, we have gotten better and continue to do so. È stata una settimana importante per la Scandone, due vittorie contro il Besiktas e contro Torino molto importanti. Quanta fiducia po possono darvi? Uh, yes, because uh, like I said before, um, we're a team that's still progressing, still, you know, finding chemistry every practice, every game. Um, and we are far from finished product. So um, these games along the way are very important to continue to build. Tornando un po' indietro, tornando a Brescia, cosa è successo nell'ultimo quarto contro Brescia? E sembra che da quella partita qualcosa sia cambiato in voi. Well, uh, I think that's a, a tough place to play. Um, it's a lot different playing on the road. You have to have a different mentality. And uh, our mentality was not prepared for 40 minutes. So um, we played 30 and then we decided to take the last quarter off. But uh, I think that although that's a mistake on our part, it's something that we use to really learn from um, because uh, they played with more intensity than we did and we can't let that happen. In questa prima parte della stagione sei stato probabilmente il migliore della squadra, ma quanto ancora puoi migliorare? Well, um, I think I can improve a lot. I think uh, I'm not in the right peak yet. Um, it's only a few games in, so I'm still uh, working to not only be better myself, but to help the team chemistry continue to grow. So I think I have a lot to improve on, and I'm sure if you ask Coach, he'll tell you the same thing. <laughs> Sin dall'inizio del ritiro sei stato indicato un po' da tutti come il leader di questa squadra. Ti senti a tuo agio in questo ruolo? Yeah, I do. Um because this is not my first time in this role with the team and um I think you know, uh leadership is something that is by example, not always with voice, uh but it's how you come to work every day. It's uh you know, how encouraging you are of your teammates and uh I think this team is built of many leaders. Um, there's not one main leader. Uh, you can name plenty of guys who lead this team in, in a lot of different ways. And I think that that's what makes this team special. And what makes us even more dangerous is because everyone here is capable of leading. Secondo te, dove può arrivare questa Sidias? Well, the good thing about it is we control that. You know, um, I think that We have a chance to do something special this season, but um, we never get too far ahead. We only take, you know, the match that's in front of us. Um, but, you know, I think this is a very good team, and I think that this is a very good situation and a good organization that we're a part of who really pushes us to be at our best. So um, the environment that is created, it makes it a lot more fun. Jason, come il rapporto con i tuoi compagni di squadra in questa prima parte della stagione? Uh, it's going well. Uh, we have a team that's full of many characters. Uh, guys who, you know, always bring uh, either positive energy or funny energy, or, you know, you have guys who just come and do their job. And I think that we all get along very well with each other outside of the court. We are often eat together our families, along with each other. So I think it's, it's a real bond and it's a family that we're really building here. So it makes it 
much easier on the court when you get along off the court. Ma vogliamo conoscere anche Jason Rich un po' per quanto riguarda la sua carriera, la sua vita personale. Jason, perché hai scelto di giocare a pallacanestro? Well, uh, yeah, I, I played a lot of sports as a child, but I was only good at one. <laughs> so, uh, and I had older brothers and some sisters who played basketball. So, um, it's just always been something that I had a passion for. And um, it's been something that has changed my life, has brought me a lot of opportunities, a lot of chance to, you know, uh, see many different cultures. And not only that, but it's... Uh, It's my life, so I, I couldn't imagine doing anything different. Jason, what does it mean for you to play the canister? I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're a sympathetic friend. You're a friend behind the door. I mean, I would say, as a younger man, it meant a little different than it does now. Uh, now I have a family. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to expand my family, have children, and really, like, It's a lot of things outside of basketball that have grown, excuse me, grown to be more important. But uh, I still love the competition, being able to go out and compete and uh, really, you know, uh, take advantage of the opportunity that it gives me. I mean, sure, uh, it's only a handful of people who really get to do what they love for work. And I mean, I don't consider this a job. This is like coming to have fun every day, you know. Circa dieci anni fa arrivasti in Europa per la prima volta a Cantù. Parlaci un po' di quel Jason Rich, eri spaventato o eccitato da una nuova avventura? Well, that was uh, definitely a different Jason than the one here now. Um, I was excited, but I was afraid. It was the first time I had been outside the United States and uh, not to mention on my own. So it was a lot of things that um, I just didn't know, didn't understand about uh, the basketball, about the culture. So, I mean, that was really, I was a kid, man, like, and I've grown in so many ways over the last 10 years. I, I probably wouldn't even recognize that guy now, you know, so, oh, man, it was a long time ago. And dopo dieci anni, appunto, quanto sei cambiato? Yeah, another person, uh, another different player. Um, Back then, it was things that mattered to me that now uh, is not important, you know. Um, and I was trying to build a career. I was trying to figure out if this was really something that I could be successful at, and I think I've figured that part out. Um, but like I said, it's, it's other things that are priorities in my life that 10 years ago I didn't even think about. Eh, Jason, come vivi la distanza da casa, da tua famiglia? Uh, well, when I was 15, I moved away from home. Um, I lived with just uh, one of my brothers. I moved uh, from Pensacola to Orlando, Florida. So I've kind of, by the time I stepped into my professional career, I was kind of used to it and uh, being away from family. It does not, does not make it any easier, but uh, i think when you have a strong family who is always connecting with you, always checking on you to make sure you're okay, it does make it easier, but it just makes it that much more special when I do get to spend time with them. Qual è stata fino ad ora la tua migliore esperienza in Europa? <laughs> uh, I would say my best experience would have to be uh, last year with the team that I was a part of. Uh, It was a team that nobody expected to do well. Everyone thought we would be the worst team in the league. And uh, only the guys and the coaches in the locker room believed in what we were doing. And I think we accomplished everything that we set out to do. And we had fun doing it. And um, it just was a very successful year for us as a team and all of us as individuals. My worst experience, uh, Uh, I think I'll keep that one to myself, yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't want anybody to think, you know, so I'll just keep that one to myself. Jason, ormai da dieci anni giochi in Europa, cosa cambieresti del basket europeo se potessi scegliere qualcosa? Um, I don't know. I think 
European basketball has had a lot of influence on basketball in the United States, the NBA, the way the style is played. So um, maybe just the time in which the season is go, goes from, you know, and you have such a short rest in the summer, maybe the length, um, maybe. But as far as the technical and the style, um, I think it's had a big influence on the basketball culture um, in the United States. So I don't know if I would change that part. Maybe just the length of the season and how short the off season is. Jason, what are your favorite players? All time, uh, definitely Magic Johnson is my number one. Always first, no question. No question. Um, and I would say I'm a big fan of Kobe Bryant. Um, big fan of Shaquille O'Neal, and um, I, I have a, a, a list of guys that I have a lot of respect for as players, but Magic Johnson is number one. Invece, miglior giocatore con cui hai giocato? Best player I ever played with, uh, Marco Milic. Uh, he was uh, a lot of fun to play with. You know, he played with uh, really a high level of energy, passion. And he didn't matter whether the game was really close or really intense. He just always had the same fun out there. And uh, I got to play with him more at the end of his career, but he was still a great player to play with. A little bit crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but he was a lot of fun, though, man. <laughs> Negli Stati Uniti si sta parlando nell'ultimo periodo molte personalità del basket si sono fatte avanti per parlare contro la presidenza Trump per criticare questo nuovo andamento politico in America. Tu cosa ne pensi? Well, I think uh, that it's important that the people who have that platform and have the voice that people will listen to, I think it's important for them to speak for people who cannot uh, voice their opinion and can't push for change, but I think that the idea of Donald Trump being our president, it's real. So um, I think we have to support him. Don't have to agree with everything, but I think as a country, the United States has to be more together because it's a, a divide and it's getting bigger. And I think that uh, it's important that we just stick together and find a way to embrace each other. Ringraziamo ovviamente Jason Rich per questo tempo che ci ha dedicato, è stata un'intervista molto interessante. Thank you Jason. Thank you. You're welcome. Noi ci rivediamo alla prossima sempre su Avellino TV.